Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Elberonin here again, and these are basically the only combos you're gonna need to know in order to play Zangief, and also kind of some general Oki flow plans that you're gonna need to go for just to get you going and uh, becoming a grappling monster. I've got a full guide as to how to play him as well if you feel like watching that. So off of your little pokes, as long as you're really close to the opponent, you can do two pokes into a Lariat, or it can be a little bit more consistent if you go into an EX Lariat, but um, you have to be really close uh, in order to do that, so I wouldn't risk it. Most of the time, you can just do like three pokes and you'll still reach with your light command grab, so I suggest using the plus frames for the pokes to go for that. And because you're plus six, you can also go into your standing medium punch, so if the opponent does try to poke you back, that'll become a counter hit. So you go pokes, pokes, and if they try to press something, you get this counter hit combo, and also if they try to jump, it'll hit them out of the air. So most of the time, pokes into a command grab, or pokes into your medium punch combo, and then you get your Oki routing going. Um, other than that, not too many links. You can do drive rush combos like this. Drive rush into crouching medium punch, and then down forward medium punch and into your lariat. Also, off of your lights, you can easily combo. Um, something like this. Whoops. So if you do need to get some kind of Daigo special like this going, you can get a nice knockdown just for a simple drive rush, which is useful. And if you need a good knockdown, hey, even though it's low damage, it's worth it. Um, forward heavy punch also leaves you at plus six. So if you are close enough, you can get something like this or just link it just into the Lariat. And I think that's all the default ways that he gets combos or off of a drive impact. You can either go into a heavy Lariat, which, you know, will do a lot of damage and be super simple, but I prefer to go for this so that even though it's less damage, you're actually giving yourself some decent Oki okay every now and then. And I think off of a drive impact is a good time to go for that. If they don't, uh, if they get this version in the corner, you can also get this really cool combo with the EX Lariat into the aerial um, Borscht Dynamite, maybe. Which is beautiful for a blocked drive impact combo. God, that is awesome. The rest of his extensions are usually going to be after like punish counters and stuff like that. So like, for example, if I get this big flying overhead as a low crush as a punish counter, I can easily just go for this. As you can see, simple combo, just get my punish counter, then button into my spin. Nice knockdown and a big chunk of damage. And I can even EX it, whoops, or OD it. And I get two hits and get a phenomenally long knockdown. And if I was in the corner, I can get the Borscht Dynamite combo as well. And it's just a beautiful amount of damage just using a simple spirit spinning Lariat off of a button. Um, you can also do some pretty cool bombos uh, after like this punish counter. So that, Drive Rush into this, and then Aerial Borscht Dynamite. Which is just beautiful. If you ever get a punish counter from jumping over a projectile, going for that will uh, really rub it in your opponent's face. Uh, you can also get combos up to your level 2. If you like do the held version and you are going for combos, you can just do like a dash in into your Lariat, but you can also do the dash in into this poke and then also just get an aerial Borscht, uh, OD Borsch Dynamite. Let's see if I can time it correctly. Oh yeah, first try. It's the big chunk of damage only cost me two drive gauges afterwards and it's Looks pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, I think that's all the regular combos you're going to get from regular hits, honestly. So now just for some simple uh, knockdown routing, because that's really, really important for Zangief. If you um, ever get this as a counter hit, it'll link itself into a full string. So if I've done this after some pokes and then they mashing here, I get the full knockdown. And as you can see, for a simple target combo, just printing a bunch of medium punches, that's a pretty pretty nice amount of damage. And it leads to a really good knockdown where I just need a drive rush in and I'm right on top of them. And after you go for a drive rush, this is where Zangief's Oki routing starts. So generally layer one for your knockdown routing is that you are going to drive rush in and use your medium punch. Because as you can see, if they get hit by it, it all links together. You don't need a counter hit because you've got the extra drive rush plus frames and you can just keep looping this. And if they're trying to jump out or mash out, you'll keep getting this 
And even if they do like jump out of the first hit, and that'll be another knockdown, and you can just drive rush after the first hit and keep looping this until they respect you. If they do block the first hit... So if we've knocked them down once, and then we drive rush in and we're going in for this again, and I see they block it, well, I can just use the plus frames, go for an SPD. Or I can use the plus frames, because I think I'm plus two, just to go for the more pokes, and then into an SPD. And if I do notice that, that like, oh, they actually blocked my, my button on Oki, well then I can use that, that knowledge to go for just drive rush in raw SPD. Now, after an SPD, unfortunately, the Oki is not so good. And unfortunately, kind of one of the most meaty things you can do is a drive rush in heavy punch, which does leave you plus one and at a nice distance where you can press some of your decently long reaching buttons like this or whatnot and you can also hold it down to armor through dps so it's a pretty good option so that's kind of a good way of just like stopping your opponent doing ridiculous stuff when you're trying to get a drive rush in afterwards and you can hold it down and be plus seven as you know and then once they're kind of respecting that then you can kind of get some better okay from your spd by doing a slightly longer drive rush into your meeting punch and do the same thing we were doing before but as you can see there is quite a bit of a gap there, so you do have to make sure they're kind of respecting you doing some other options before you can go for this. But yeah, you have the ability, if you have them um, kind of like conditioned to do a longer reaching one and then go in for the same strike throw Oki we were talking about before. And also another option, if you don't feel like it's spending any drive meter, you can also just go for a little bit of a walk in into your 6 HK which is your big flying overhead, minus 10 or minus nine from around this distance is totally safe. And it's just another cool way of catching your opponent um, with something that they're probably not expecting. It reaches really far. You don't even have to do as much of a walk-in as I'm doing now. It's decently safe. It might catch them jumping away or trying to press buttons or doing something weird or even trying to jump towards you because it has a really great hitbox. And it, yeah, it's just a cool way of locking them down without even needing to go for like dashes or a drive rush just because it's ridiculously long reaching. And uh, we mentioned that after you get this as a punish counter, you can get this um, this combo. But if it does be a punish counter from really long distance, then you're not going to be able to go in for combos because you're so far away. But you can kind of go for some Zangief safe jumps, which uh, sounds pretty terrifying if you ask me. So you can just do a slightly delayed jump into a jump heavy kick or jump heavy punch. It'll be a safe jump, so you can block TPs, go for a big punish counter combo, or um, if it hits, of course, you can uh, go into whatever combo you like. Just something simple like this to get a nice knockdown, and lovely, lovely. I think that's kind of the main points of the routing. Like, just make sure you're dashing in, going in for this, and just going for some strike throw in between going for this target combo and going for a throw and once you've got all this down and you're switching up these options plus frames like drive rush strikes throws and when you do get a hit when you are landing some pokes use the plus frames to go for more strike throw and if you ever get something that's kind of cool you can get stuff like this or this in the corner like we mentioned which is just beautiful damage from the opponent trying to respect you and then they accidentally block a drive impact and they take all that damage. And uh, yeah, I think that's basically <laughs> the only routing you need to know. Also, it's not really a combo or routing, but in neutral, do a lot of this and buffer it into a command grab or into your level three super because it gives you a lot of time to input those things. And if it does hit super late, it can become plus on block or plus enough to link into like a little poke from which we can do the same things we were just talking about. And uh, although that was short and simple, that's basically Zangief and his combos. Oh, I think there was one punish counter I forgot to mention. This one, you can go into a level one afterwards uh, if you input it fast enough. Or you can go for the same uh, down forward medium punch into Larry that we were talking about before. But yeah, that's Zangief. Not too complicated combo wise. But as long as you're playing him as a grappler correctly, you're not going to notice. So I hope these simple combos uh, helped you out and got some more clarification for the routing systems. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.